Non-human great apes are our closest living relatives. Africa, with its wealth of biodiversity, hosts four species of great ape. Chimpanzees, bonobos, western gorillas and eastern gorillas, which includes the mountain gorilla. The range of each species varies, with chimpanzees distributed across sub-Saharan Africa, from Guinea-Bissau in the west to Uganda in the east. And bonobos are only found in the Democratic Republic of Congo in Central Africa. The ranges of the western and eastern gorilla are separated by the Congo River, with western gorillas living in West Central Africa and the eastern gorilla in East Central Africa. All great ape species have experienced drastic declines in their ranges and population sizes over the past few decades. The IUCN Red List of threatened species shows that all great ape species are either critically endangered or endangered and are at very high risk of extinction. These worrying declines in great ape numbers are primarily a result of human activities, including hunting and deforestation. On top of these, infectious disease pose a very serious threat that is pushing the great apes to the absolute brink. Gorillas, chimpanzees and bonobos are genetically so similar to us that they can get infected with many of the same pathogens that cause us to get sick, such as influenza, coronavirus and many others. In particular, we know that human respiratory viruses can infect great apes in the wild and cause sickness and even death. Great apes are fascinating, and this has led to increasing demand for great ape tourism. Tourism can really help conservation by bringing in valuable funds. However, the health risks are well documented. Human respiratory viruses are a major cause of death in great apes. These pathogens are accidentally introduced by people, including tourists and researchers, who really care about the conservation of these endangered species and the people who share their habitat. Tourists are especially a risk to great apes because of travel. Travel increases stress levels in humans, reducing our immunity and increasing our susceptibility to becoming ill. Travel also brings us in contact with more people and places and therefore more diseases. Tourists are really important to great apes and we know you wouldn't want to harm them. So we want to provide you with the information and guidelines you need to protect these amazing animals. Of course, disease can also be passed from wildlife to humans. So by equipping yourself with the most up-to-date scientific information and by following our guidelines, we hope to keep you and the great apes you care about safe. To protect you and great apes from infectious disease, it is more important now than ever before to follow international guidelines when visiting great apes. Our website provides information on what you need to consider at the different stages of your great ape tourism from before traveling to just before trekking to see the great apes. When trekking, you will always be accompanied by a guide, so please listen to them and follow their instructions. Your guide will have been provided with the latest information on measures to prevent the spread of disease, such as how to report symptoms, maintain a safe distance, mask wearing and hygiene measures. This is necessary for helping everyone, both people and wildlife, to stay safe. Years of collaborative conservation and tourism have restored landscapes, provided livelihoods and given wildlife a second chance. It was thought that by the millennium, mountain gorillas would be extinct. Today, their numbers are over 1,000. Let's make sure that in future, this is remembered as a success story. Everyone can play a role in protecting great apes. Please consult all the material that we provide on www.protectgreatapesfromdisease.com and take our pledge to show that you care and will follow the recommended health measures. We, we all have, have the power, power to protect, protect great, great apes. apes.